Welcome back. Tomorrow night is the kickoff of the Stumptown Improv <laughs> Festival. This is the fifth year of the festival, so of course we are prepared. These guys are prepared. Joining us, we have the co-founders of the festival here. We have Leon Anderson, we have Aaron, Gino, Reagan, and Jed Arkley. Hello. Now, you guys, are all of you guys performing in the festival? We are. We are, yeah. yeah. We're all Excellent. doing our own fest. We all get to perform. So. Yeah. That's yeah. so crazy. What do people... So, of course, we just had Stumptown Coffee a minute ago. There's the Stumptown sure. Improv Festival. Mm -hmm. Not sure. related at all, but in the same week, you can get caffeinated, you can laugh at things. What yep. do people get to see at the Stumptown Improv Festival? Oh, we've got an amazing lineup this year. I mean, we've got groups from all over the country. We've got groups from Chicago, L.A., New York City. Toronto. We've got Toronto. Minneapolis. Whoa. Minneapolis. Whoa. Portland. <laughs> What? There's people from Portland. There are people you from it? Portland. And not only do we have a lot of great shows, we also have some wonderful workshops. So if people are in improv and they're yes. looking to expand their skills yep. with someone who maybe doesn't live in Portland, well, they have opportunities to do that too, can uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> What's behind door number three, everybody? Are there different, so a lot of times when you when you watch improv or yeah. look, if you're not in the whole improv community, mm -hmm. but you've seen it, you watch different TV shows, they play improv mm -hmm. games. Is that anything like what you guys do or is it totally different? So it's a little bit different. It's it's the same in that we are making it up on the spot. The difference is uh, most people associate it with like a who's line kind of thing where it's mm -hmm. what's called short form improv where it's a lot of games. Uh, what we do is considered long form improv. Oh. So it's more get a suggestion at the top of the show and then do about 20 minutes of scene work oh based God. off of that suggestion. Yeah. You guys get nervous? That sounds terrifying. I get nervous when I have a script. Much more nervous. Really? <laughs> so like, this yeah. is so much easier. It's like, yeah, to get in front of people, 400 people, and not know what you're going to say is like easy. Especially but. if you're performing with a group you've been rehearsing with and performing yeah. with for a while, you have a lot of trust with those people that they're not going to throw you under the bus, mm -hmm. literally or figuratively. <laughs> That's very important. There's a lot important. of bus deaths. There's, There's a lot of, lot of bus stray deaths. buses. Oh, in the theaters. middle of the artist repertory <laughs> theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, be careful. It's a place. bad location of the theater. <laughs> so, of course, when you're doing improv, you don't know what's going to happen. And there's no storyline set in advance, so there's not much of a set, right? You just kind of have chairs yeah. and then figure it out from there? Absolutely. So most improv scenes will start with four chairs on stage, and then you kind of build the scene around you. Are there people um, attacking each other? That's what it looks like. Someone yeah, is yeah, like, there is. It can get pretty violent. Um, yeah. So yeah, you work with the audience and with your fellow teammates, and you create a world that you all agree on, which is kind of my favorite part of it. It seems like it would be a really fun world to be in and festival to perform for because you guys are just standing over there. You weren't doing anything. You weren't involved in the other yeah. segments and you're just dancing the whole time. Yeah. Is everyone just having fun? Does everyone from different countries and states just get along the whole time? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. This is like summer camp for a lot of the folks that come to Portland. Yeah for the Improv Festival. Yeah. They look forward to this weekend. It's just, we don't stop. Mm -hmm. Comedy all the time. All the time. Right. All the way until Sunday at 10 p.m. Yes. We lose our voices and we're very, very tired. Well, speaking of Sunday at 10 p.m., yeah. we, we added a show this, this year. It's usually just three nights mm -hmm. that we do the Improv Festival. But this year we've expanded and we're doing a final show on Sunday night with North Coast from New York City and Portland's own impulse. Yeah, from Which Oregon teen, Children's Theater. Teen improv. Oh, improv fun! Theater. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome. People that just just getting into the improv scene and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. A lot of these uh, kids, I can say kids, right? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of these kids <laughs> have been performing improv for like four or five years wow. uh, with their coaches at Oregon yeah. Children's Theater. So they've got quite a bit of experience. Yeah. yeah. You've never taken one improv class before, Cassidy? I have, actually. <laughs> Secrets it's out. It's terrifying. I'm not good at it. Um, when I, so I went to college. That's I started as an spirit. acting major, okay. then added broadcast journalism. But for, as an acting major, you had to take a whole year of improv. Yeah. yeah. My teacher's name was Ken Cheeseman. That was okay. his real yeah. name. Right. Look him up on IMDb. <laughs> and it's, it terrified me, but by the end of the year, it was like, okay, you just have to kind of let yourself out of your mind yeah. and yep. yeah. just go with it and not overthink it. But yeah, I would rather read a teleprompter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not All, that we don't improv yeah. like this whole show, basically. I gotta say, it's pretty nice when you're doing a set of improv or you're watching improv to just completely disconnect from the reality of the world around yeah. us. It's such yeah. a nice release to play something fun. Totally. Yeah. It's a little intense out there. And you get to set the expectations yourself. Like Jed was saying he gets nervous when he has a script. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way because there's a director on the other side who yeah. has an idea for yeah. what this has yeah. to look like. That's true. Yeah. What, Director Jay, what are you thinking right now? <laughs> Is this looking like you want it to? Well, if you want to see all of this, go tomorrow, all the way through Sunday, at Artist Repertoire Theater. Go to StumptownImprov.com. As the grand finale, yes. you guys created a new intro yeah. we did. for the show. Yes. This show. 
Okay. All Ready? right. Boys. And a five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Oh. Tonight, Tonight with, with Cassidy. Cassidy. Oh, bravo. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you, Cassidy. That's creamy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's creamy. <laughs>